I, I start working in radio mm -hmm. and that's when my life got worse when then it ever was. Cause you know, I'm living in radio and you're sort of a pseudo celebrity. You kind of mm -hmm. get full of yourself. Mm. You know, you think you, you, you get really conceited. Yeah. And, um, I met a girl mm -hmm. and I got into a relationship, which is not a, an ideal relationship. Mm -hmm. She was married. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, she was married, not in a happy marriage. And I was, you know, Superman complex. I can save this girl from yeah. this, you know, unhappy marriage. And also I, I was, it was really dumb in my, they weren't married in the church. Mm -hmm. So I had this really twisted way of thinking, well, they're not really married. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, they're, 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 they're not married in the church. So they're not really married. So, uh, I started that relationship and it was not an ideal relationship. I remember, uh, this is a story that I've never really told, but we were going out on a date. And since I had that twisted way of thinking, we went to church, we went to mass together. Wow. And one of the readings, I can't remember what exactly, I should have looked it up before this interview, but one of the readings was something to the effect of the way it is on earth. So it is in heaven. Mm. What you and, bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And so God was speaking to me right there. You should not be doing this, what you're doing right now. And I didn't listen. Wow. I was so full of myself. I thought I knew better. I, I, a lot of people were telling me, you got to get out of this relationship. Get out of there. This is not right. And I just didn't listen to them. And, you know, sure enough, several months later, we find out she's pregnant and, and I'm pretty much shunned from the family. Wow. And, uh, you know, of course we had some relatives who were reaching out to me, trying to help me out and everything, but it was, it was a bad relationship. It was, I don't want to say anything bad about the mother yeah. of my daughter, but let's just say that it was toxic. Yeah. It wasn't healthy for you. Not healthy for us because we were kind of on an Island. We didn't have any support. It was just, it was just us. And when, and also when you, when you build a relationship on a bad foundation, mm. no matter what you build on it, it will keep crumbling down because yeah. it was a bad foundation. So it was, it was a toxic environment. It was bad for both of us. We'd both said and done things mm -hmm. that were, uh, were not good. Yeah. And we both carry scars and we both have regrets. Um, so after that, I was in a really bad place after, yeah. after we split up, I was in such a bad place that I, I really fallen. I, you know, I had flings. Mm. I, you know, I, I did lots of things that I don't even want to speak of that mm. I'm not proud of. I was just not in a good place. Yeah. Let's just say I was not in a good place. And I remember, um, my friends who worked with me at the radio station I was working at at the time, I'd moved radio stations. Mm -hmm. Um, because I was fired or let go from the previous radio station because of um, things related to my uh, relationship. Wow! Because the my one of my my first gigs at a radio station, my girlfriend at the time was helped me get the job. Okay. But then I had left her for that married woman. Wow. And her workmates were not happy about that. Yeah. And they kind of pressured the radio station to fire me and I deserved to be fired to, or to let me go. And yeah, so they let me go. And it was like my dreams were crushed because I, I thought, you know, oh, I'm going to be a famous DJ on the radio, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. And then, so anyway, my my friends at this, this new radio station I was working at, so I went from a, a top 40 radio station to an easy listening radio station, which was not my genre at all. Yeah. And anyway, these, um, these friends, they were, you know, what's happening to this guy? He's regressing. He's, you know, I, I fell into video game addiction, fell into other things uh, until I finally started. And my, I was the prodigal son. I moved back in with my parents and I still remember the conversation asking my dad, can you take me back? Wow. I need your help. And I can imagine that being hard. It was hard because 
I was so proud when I'm, you know, when the family wouldn't, you know, wouldn't uh, recognize our relationship. I was like, I don't need them. Yeah. You know, it's, I it's us it. against the world, you know, that kind of, uh, that kind of really dumb thing. But then I had to come back to my parents because I needed their help. Yeah. You know, things weren't going well for me um, personally, spiritually, financially. Things were just not going well. I was, uh, I was not getting voiceover gigs. I was not getting MC gigs, you know, and I was, you know, down in the dumps career wise, uh, emotionally and all that. And they took me in. I mean, yeah, the love of, uh, of a family. My mom really, I, I got to say, there's nothing like the love of a mother. Yeah, what a gift. Nothing like the love of my mother. She never stopped, even if she kind of had to reach out to me through other relatives, <laughs> just so my dad wouldn't know. Because my dad was, I hurt my dad yeah. deeply. I hurt, I hurt him. He, he was like, no, this is wrong. This is, you know. But yeah, I moved in with my parents. They helped me get back on my feet. Next thing you know, when I turned my life around, things just started to click. Mm. You know, I'm not one to talk about prosperity gospel, but, you know, once I started turning my life around, I got hired by another radio station. Wow. And things started getting better. I started getting more voiceover gigs, started getting MC gigs. Mm. 